My name is Danielle McDowell and I would like to welcome you to watch my blog on professionalism in the early years. Professionalism means something different to everybody. For one person it might mean wearing certain clothes to work. Uh, for another person it might mean talking in a certain way. Uh, but for me, professionalism is not only providing the minimum standards of practice, but working towards providing the best possible practice for the children in my care. Um, obviously taking into account all their needs and their areas of development and doing it in a confident um, and also a relatable way. I believe professionalism is having an understanding that no matter how many qualifications and how much training certificates an individual has, there will always be opportunities for continued personal development um, as well obviously as professional growth as a practitioner. With all the experience you have, um, you're definitely going to learn new things throughout your career and I think it's definitely important to remember that. Um, so it's important to remember that no matter how experienced an individual may be in relation to you on a personal level, this should never be viewed as a negative thing because there is always room for learning and growth in your profession. Um, Kathy Nutt Nut Brown carried out a review on early education and childcare qualifications and in this she said that practitioners are the most valuable asset in any early year setting. She believes they are the single biggest contributor, contributor to the quality of provision and they are the driving force towards future improvement. Um, as highlighted in the statutory framework for early years foundation stage, practitioners must have obviously the appropriate qualifications, training, skills, general knowledge, um, as well as a clear understanding of their own personal roles and responsibilities within their role and you know the early year settings. Um, to work in an early year setting, practitioners must have at least a full and relevant level two qualification. Now, this does differ from management who are required to have a full and relevant level three qualification with at least two years experience um, and experience in this field is definitely necessary because you may be faced with things that you know you've never seen or you ne never read about so it's definitely important to have some sort of experience to, to relate back to. Having the appropriate qualifications is obviously essential to ensure the best level of care and education is being provided for the children. This, of course, includes having enough qualified staff to meet certain ratios within the settings and obviously to provide adequate care. In any practice involving children, their needs must remain paramount above anything else. Um, in the early years, the needs of the children must be recognised and nourished to enable them to develop because you know, if their needs aren't being met, they're not they're not going to develop adequately or you know at the appropriate level in comparison to their peers. The United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child recognizes in Article 6 that every child has it has an inherent right to life and maximum efforts should be made by all professionals to enable them to you know survive and develop throughout their whole life. And with this in mind, it is essential for early years practitioners to have a clear understanding of child development and how child development can differ between age groups and for the child, child's individual abilities. And having this knowledge as a practitioner will provide opportunities for you know, the highest standards of care and support to be, to be provided for all the children. The care and education provided by early years practitioners to children today, you know, that can impact them for their whole life. Um, so it's really important to recognise that as a practitioner, you can change somebody's life, um, not just not just in an immediate sense, but you know, throughout the whole wider society, um, and as they grow up and you know grow into a career of their own. And um, with the highest levels of professionalism, definitely has a range of skills and qualities. 
and um, obviously these range from person to person however I personally believe that having professionalism within a role is combined with personal skills as well as your skills as a professional and um, as a one-to-one -one assistant I am required to have persistent observational skills this is essential to enable me to assess you know ongoing changes in the learning and development of the child I work with um, organization you know is another key factor to enable me to do this effectively uh, being organized helps the day run accordingly and good organizational skills are especially important when working with children with additional needs uh, my organization within my role I know on a personal level definitely creates a sense of routine in the classroom for the child that I work with he he likes to know you know what activities first what's next what's what's going to happen before break what's going to happen up to lunch you know he likes to know step by step what is going to be happening throughout the day and to be able to give him that information I need to be up to scratch on the teacher's plans and what she has planned um, for the rest of the day um, communication then and um, the way a practitioner communicates with a child is obviously going to greatly differ to how they communicate with a parent or other members of staff you know in their setting and as well with outside agencies they obviously need to communicate with them on a very much personal level um, in relation to obviously every child although as an early years practitioner I feel it is very important to create a personal relationship with the child and get them get to know get them to know your personality and um, I do feel it is very important to remain in an authoritative position and I believe the key to this is definitely communication and being able to establish appropriate appropriate boundaries between you know being their friend and being their teacher or the practitioner who's you know caring for them in terms of personal qualities I believe enthusiasm and passion are essential and um, to possess as, as any earlier practitioner being able to relate to the children and share your interests and in their achievements is definitely important to me in my role. Being resourceful, innovative, creative um, are definitely important to enable new ways of learning to be introduced as well as capturing the attention of children in a fun and interesting way. As part of my innovation and change model for my degree, I was required to introduce a change into the classroom. Due to the requirements of my role in the classroom, I wanted to focus my change on the child that I work with every day. Um, so using my creativity combined with my personal areas of concern about the child, I introduced the use of iPads during literacy classwork, which turned out to be a great success on both my part and on his definitely really really enjoyed that being implemented so it was always nice to hear and um, doing this definitely taught me that paying close attention to minor details you know as a practitioner can have a huge difference on on the learning outcome of a child and it is definitely so rewarding to know that the work you put in has its benefits uh, most importantly I feel practitioners must be aware of the impact they have on the life of a child Theorist Albert Bandura found that children are especially influenced um, to mimic the actions of others around them. So as a practitioner, it is important to remember that you must provide positive examples for the child to model. Um, and this should definitely also be at the forefront of teaching, especially when you know children are so easily influenced. So if they're being positively influenced, you know, that can only obviously benefit them and um, I would just like to finish by thanking you all for listening to my blog and uh, I hope you enjoyed hearing my perspectives on what professional practice means um, in an early years environment okay thank you